Namaste. So what to do when we are having a difficult time, when we are experiencing a situation that makes us feel uncomfortable or worse, that makes us feel anxious. According to the degree of anxiety that you're feeling, you might be more or less able to take responsibility of that situation and take action on it. But if you don't have the tools for it, if you don't know that these tools exist, you cannot do anything. So, this video is to help you acquire some of those simple tools that you can actually apply on yourself. I would like to share with you three tools. They are all tools coming from pranayam, so they are techniques that we use breath and sounds to allow the life force energy that is in us to travel of course, the effect of the life force energy in the body has also a physical counterpart. For example, we activate the parasympathetic system instead of having the sympathetic one active, and uh, we relax the vagus nerve that might be causing stress to us. We quieten the mind, and we find stillness and presence. As we stop having the heart races, all those uncomfortable feelings that come in these moments when we're feeling anxious. The first technique that I would like to share with you is the most basic, basic technique of pranayam, and it is called abdominal breathing, and it is very, very simple. You can decide if you want to lie down on your mat, or you can be just sitting with your spine straight. You can bring your hands in Jan Mudra or bring your left hand to your belly. If it's the first time you do this technique, I will suggest you to lie down and put the hand on your belly. And then from here, we inhale, feeling the belly as a balloon. Exhale, emptying the belly completely, sucking the belly in. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, release. Empty, empty, empty. Inhale as much as you can. Feel the hand growing. Exhale, release. So you can keep doing this technique for as long as you feel comfortable and for as long as you feel that you need to bring yourself back and to relax. Breath is a very powerful tool. So we need to use it to our favor. If we make our breaths very short and fast, we feel more anxious and this will retroalimentate the situation that is already happening in us. Instead, we move the focus to the breath and we try to make that breath as long as we can with every inhalation and with every exhalation. So inhaling, we feel the body and exhaling, release. The second technique that I would like to share with you, it's called Brambri Pranayam. Brambri means honey bee sound or happy honey bee. What we do in Brambri is that we keep our teeth away and the lips are touching and we inhale and instead of exhaling we do this sound. Also in this case, sometimes it's difficult to do the primary pranayam if it's the first time you're doing it. And one thing that helps so much is to go on child pose. And from child pose, you just do the primary there. Much more easier. Just give it a try. 
Inhale. Mm. Inhale again. Last inhale. Mm. Just breathe normally here. Observe the effect of the Brahmari. Can come back. The third technique that I want to share with you is Samavritti breathing, which means same length of inhalation, exhalation, inhalation, exhalation. So we inhale for five and exhale five. Inhale five, exhale five. Let's start with this. Inhale five. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, we add to this holding our breath for five each time. So inhale five, hold five, exhale five, hold five, inhale five, hold five, exhale five, hold five, inhale, hold. Exhale, hold, inhale, hold, exhale. Keep doing this for five rounds. This is very helpful in all these situations that you might be feeling some sort of, besides the anxiety, also when you're scared of something. For example, I had students who were having a bad day and needed to take an airplane and they were stressed about it and anxious about something going wrong. And I told them, go on the plane, just sit down and then do this breathing. And everything was fine. Everything went off because we are centering ourselves back. We're bringing that inner connection. When we bring the inner connection, all these things start becoming slightly less active on us. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was so, please click on the like button, subscribe to our channel. And if you want, you can also check out our platform in the links below. Hope to see you soon. And leave us a comment if there is any topic we would like us to take care of. Harion.